and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story. India's first ever space-based mission, Aditya L1, has successfully completed its four-month-long journey. The probe has been inserted into a halo orbit at the Lagrange 1 point under commands of the Indian Space Research Organization. Launched on the 2nd of September on board a PSLV rocket, the craft has been on a long journey to a vantage point in space. Aditya L1 will neither land on the sun nor approach the celestial body. It will be placed in a unique vantage position known as the Lagrange Point 1. It is a location in space where the gravitational forces of two celestial bodies, the sun and the earth, are in equilibrium. Prime Minister Modi has congratulated the Indian Space Agency for its momentous success on placing the nation's first solar observatory in its orbit. The Union Minister of State for Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, also tweeted and said that the success of the mission marks a glorious turn of year for India. Since its last firing a few months ago, the Aditya L1's liquid Apogee motors have been placed in a hibernation mode owing to the chilly space environment. The motors will immediately fire for the predetermined amount of time and carry out the move precisely as instructed by ISRO. The mission probe will now study the coronal mass ejections, a periodic phenomenon that sees huge discharges of plasma and magnetic energy from the sun's atmosphere. These bursts are so powerful they can reach the Earth and potentially disrupt the operations of satellites. The mission also aims to shed light on the dynamics of several other solar phenomena by imaging and measuring particles in the sun's upper atmosphere. The ambitious mission too shows how India has been steadily matching the achievements of established spacefaring powers, all this at a fraction of their cost. Now for more details on this, we are being joined by our senior correspondent Siddharth MP. Hello to you Siddharth. Now mission Aditya L1 has successfully completed it's four month long journey. Take us through the significance of this achievement. So Alison, let's start by talking about how many or how few nations have done missions to study the sun so far. It's largely been a domain that only the NASA, US Space Agency, that is the European Space Agency, and of course, the Chinese Space Agency attempted so far. So even at the L1 point, right now there are four crafts and Aditya L1 has just become the fifth craft. So it's so less explored. That's how complicated study of the sun is. But ISRO is venturing out to unknown territories to explore, you know, the deep facets of science that are still being explored. So that's the perspective through which we have to look at this mission. This is something that actually adds to the scientific temperament and this adds to, you know, the scientific community's quest to understand more so that's what this mission is all about to understand about the sun particularly you mentioned about ejections right so these mass ejections when they happen from the outer layer of the sun in about 15 hours one five hours they can reach the earth and if they do reach the earth and if they you know come anywhere close to earth's satellites the satellites that are spinning around the earth they could actually destroy the satellites and you know satellites being how crucial they are to navigation communication and everything that we use in the modern day if these satellites are taken out by a storm that happens in the, um, you know, space around Earth, what happens is, you know, humanity will suffer huge losses, be it economic losses, or be it losses to day-to-day -day life and, you know, our livelihoods. So in that way, this is very important to understand space weather. It's also important to understand various phenomena and the evolution of the sun and uh, how it's behaving. So that's why this mission gains so much significance. And even officials also tell us that there's unprecedented kinds of technology on board, which will enable to study the sun using various sensors 24-7 for at least five years. Alison. Absolutely, Siddharth. Thank you so much for bringing us all the latest details on that successful mission by the TL1.